What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Uh, on this video, I'm back as you can see. Uh, yesterday we were actually here pretty late last night. Um, and we took off some of the staples. Just a lot of staples on the joist. So what we decided to do is... Obviously, we removed all the flooring, right? And I still have to do some more back here. But what I wanted to do is I came back last night and uh, took off some of the joist uh, staples and all that so that we could... This morning, I could lay a lot of, a lot of the floor down and, uh, and hopefully I can move forward with this. But I want to show you guys something. Check this out. One thing that I noticed is that uh, this air duct, right... Obviously, it was open right here, so what I did is I sealed it completely, and then I sealed the floor. I was planning on moving it over to this section right over here, rerouting it, and then having it come out, come out of uh, this little area there, right? But apparently, I bought the wrong stuff, right? So this, uh, this is a six-inch, uh, I, I don't know what to call it, hole. We're just going to call it a hole, right? So this is a six-inch receiver, maybe, right? So a six-inch receiver. Well, I... Here's the problem. I only have about six inches, actually less than six inches, it's like five and a half inches from the uh, air duct to the to the top of the joist here, right? So so that's not gonna work, right? This is not gonna work. So um, and then on top of that, it would either sit on top of it or inside it, and that's definitely not gonna work. So um, we decided that we're scratching that idea completely. That's not gonna happen. Hopefully later on, and like I said, things things change all the time, right? So um, I'm gonna return all return all that stuff, and uh, maybe we'll see. We might end up putting the duct over here by the um, by where the range uh, used to be, right over here. So and because the uh, the air duct runs through here, I may be able to just punch a hole right there on the floor, put the air duct there. There's already one over here right and there's another one I think over there and one more over here on this side so yep the goal for today is to try and uh, get as many of these uh, floors down I still need to figure out whether or not I'm gonna keep that pipe probably gonna end up having to replace some of it right and uh, the water lines I'm gonna go PEX so once I open everything up back there I'll know uh, a little bit more, but that's the idea. I already have some of the uh, the PEX pipe ready to go. So yeah, we'll go from there. What do you guys think? We thank you guys for watching the video. If you have any questions or any comments, maybe we're doing something wrong, let me know. Uh, this is our first time uh, remodeling a mobile home and just a home in general, right? So um, we're just trying to do our best as we can, right? So if you have any questions, any comments, put them down below. If you want to keep up with the story, uh, what we're telling, right? If you want to see how we're uh, handling all of this, uh, subscribe to the channel. So I want to give a shout out to Indistinct Chatter. Uh, hey man, thank you so much for commenting on the videos, give us, giving us some good ideas. Um, I ended up going. I ended. I went out and I bought a uh, a router, a planer, a planer. This is a planer, right? And actually, it is from Harbor Freight, man. Um, like I was telling you in the comments, we were out buying some stuff over at Home Depot and uh, driving home. I did a quick little Google search and I found a really good deal on it because I originally wanted the the Ryobi one. I bought the older Ryobi tools, not all of them, but most of them. I bought the uh, the 10 pack, um, cost me around 600 bucks, but I needed a planer, right? And I was thinking about getting a planer, getting a grinder, um, but those things are a little bit more expensive. So I figured, you know what? Uh, I don't know how often I'm gonna find or how often I'm gonna use the actual planer with Ryobi. So maybe I can save a hundred bucks. Went online, found it on Harbor Freight for like 30, 40 bucks. And there it is, and it's been working pretty well. So as you can see, I, I think I already uh, did this one here, that one there. Um, all of those, 
right? Uh, that's how, also how I cleaned up this area here, which has already been done, right? I know that I was talking about getting that that done on a few different videos, but I finally did it, guys. So there it is. That's done. This is going to be the girls' room because we have two little girls. This is going to be the girls' room, right? We're going to close it off. There's going to be a little hallway here, and uh, every room's got a vent. So, yeah. Once again, shout out to Indistinct Chatter. Thank you so much for watching the video, man. So yesterday, uh, I went to, to Lowe's to get this tool here. It's an adjustable spanner rec kit, right? Obviously the Ryobi kit comes with all the tools, but um, I have no idea what happened to it. So I ended up going to get one. This was like 13 bucks, right? So now I can take this wheel off just like this, I think, we'll see. And that way I can replace it with some 40 grit. So that way I can remove all the rest of the stuff, right? There we go. Yeah, we, we got a huge mess in here, guys. So I have no idea what happened to it. I'm just going to replace it. That's why I just bought a new one. I figured it, you know, whatever, right? So. There we go. Hopefully I don't lose this one also. There it is. Hope it doesn't hit. Looks like it's touching quite a bit. We'll see. All right, let's go. All right, so as you guys can see, uh, I was able to to uh, cover this up. So all of this area is done. There you go, all right? So this area is done. Um, I ended up putting some two by fours right under this area, so that way I can give it a little bit more support. Uh, you gotta keep in mind that this here is going to be a little walkway, right? And right in front of that area, we're gonna have a door for the pantry. Um, so we need it to be sturdy, right? I was planning on putting some two by fours back here also, and I'm going to show you guys. I was planning on putting the two by fours right in the back, 
or maybe even some some two by threes but i don't know if it's something to do with the screws but i've been i've been destroying the the bits on the uh on the um well here let me show you i got a bit somewhere around here that i just i just keep chewing them up look at this and i know it's not it's probably just me right but i want to show you guys look at this i don't know if you guys can see that but this thing is completely destroyed right um i'm using some construction screws general construction two and a half for that area right and they just seem so freaking hard to to put through through the wall so um because this is going to be the pantry i figured you know nobody's ever going to be back here anyways so i opted out i did not put the uh the two by six or the two by four by the wall it's not rotting anyways so i'm not really too concerned but i am gonna have to put some foam there um just so, to plug the hole um what do you guys think should i have put something there um and if you have any suggestions i'm having a hard time with these screws i have these other construction screws with the little square uh, uh star bit and these work much better looks like they're i'm not sure if these are called self-tapping or not but these work much much better um there's also some what other screws did i get i got some other ones too that are also easier to use than those other ones and i don't get it i don't understand why right it's not the drywall oh it's the uh the exterior screws those are also pretty easy to work with but again i don't know what i may be doing wrong maybe i need to pre-drill some holes and then put the screws through but anyways if you guys have any suggestions let me know i've been watching a lot of um um dy or different i think it's uh the name of the channel um this guy named doug and his wife they've been doing a lot of videos um remodeling their mobile homes and i forget the other one something homestead um they have a single wide and they've remodeled theirs so this is literally part of the reason why i'm doing this because i watched them do it and i figured hey i may be able to do something like that i'm kind of handy you know so uh big shout out to those big channels those guys are awesome if you guys haven't checked them out make sure you do so um they've inspired me to be able to do this and uh yeah big shout out to those guys thank you so much for uh all the information that you guys put out it's helped me out quite a bit but i am having a little bit of trouble with those screws i don't know what i'm doing wrong so uh, if you guys have any suggestions let me know i gotta go uh run a quick errand and then i'm gonna come back and see if i can knock out this area back here maybe these two there's gonna be this is enough room for two more two by fours here and then i'll have to do this area uh later on because it's got um the pipes and all of that right and there is a little bit of rot right around there so i'll have to get that fixed um besides that everything's moving along fairly quick i think maybe you know i don't know anyways uh there is that hose that we broke we decided that we're not going to keep that refrigerator we already have a water dispenser so what we're going to do is we're just going to keep our our water dispenser we're going to get rid of that refrigerator for sale right um and I already have a, another refrigerator at the rental where we live right now. So we're just going to bring that one in. It's brand new. So we'll have a brand new refrigerator. We're going to keep the stove. Um, and then eventually, I'm sure we'll, we'll end up replacing it. Right? But as of, as of now, that'll have to do. Um, anyways, this hose that busted, we're going to get rid of it. It's going to be completely gone. We don't need it. Right? Uh, like I said, we have we do have a water dispenser that we'll... we'll continue to use and we will need that um that hose i wish i would have thought about this earlier because we probably would have been able to have water this whole time right i would have just patched it up or something so anyways um that's the plan for today it's my mom's birthday also so we're gonna go have some dinner um come back and then we're gonna try to finish all of this as much as as much as we possibly can a few moments later all right guys i'm back um you know time flies whenever you got stuff to do you run out of stuff you run out of time 
really, really quick. So I'm finally back. Uh, I left right around 11 o'clock. It's now just past 2.30. It's like 2.30, 2.35. So it's time for me to get back to work and try to see if I could get all that stuff off. Um, so here we go. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys 
what I just found out. Look at this. Omar's here, by the way. Check it out. Looks like the insulation down here is, uh, well, it's down to the ground, right? There's a big old hole here that I'm going to have to fix just to try and keep uh, the warmth in here. But look at this. You guys remember that the, right over here there was a, a pipe that bursted, right? Uh, I was planning on fixing that, maybe rerouting it. But look at this. I got to show you guys this. Look at this. Busted. Okay. This thing is completely busted. So even if I just plugged it over here, right, we still have an issue right under this. So I'm glad that I'm taking off all of this so that I can address that. And what, we're, what we decided is we're just going to get rid of that refrigerator. We have a water dispenser that we're going to keep. We're going to get rid of the fridge, get rid of this water line, that extra water line that we don't need anymore. And uh, we're going to replace that with a, a PEX pipe. So make it a lot easier, a little bit more flexible. Right, so, yep, that's the plan. Alrighty. Damn. So, as you guys can see, as you guys can see, this thing's pretty jacked up, so. The only thing we gotta do is this side over here, and that's it. Look at this. The, the uh, nails just came off of this, and it's it's pretty rotted. Look at that. You see all that right there? Bro, see that shit? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. It crumbles, yep. I'm gonna have to remove all of that. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have to go all the way to the other end. Right there where those tables are. So all of this is gonna be gone. Yep. <laughs> time to call it a night um, it's actually it's about 5 15 it's my mom's birthday so I gotta go get some dinner gotta take her to dinner right with the family so um, but as you guys can see we did not accomplish today's goal to finish the floor um, however I did finish this portion here which I'll show you I did finish this portion here 
And then uh, Omar came over. He helped me clean up a little bit. Um, we removed front of the front door, that area there. This walkway area as well. And uh, somebody actually worked on this mobile home uh, prior. And they replaced some of the uh, some of the floor in the kitchen. And uh, let me tell you what, it is so difficult to take care of, especially to take to take off, excuse me, especially that little part there. That thing is solid. It is super solid. So we, we're going to have to figure out a way to get get that taken off. Uh, besides that, it's pretty much ready to go uh, for Sunday. Sunday, what we're going to do is we're going to clean them off, reinforce these uh, couple spots that are broken, right? Um, I'm also going to get a little bit more insulation get that covered up because there's a big ass hole there okay there's a big hole here there's another one right over here right so we're gonna cover those spots up and uh and then the water lines so we're gonna uh go from this to pex and that's gonna go all the way to the front right so we're gonna hopefully get all this done sunday and that way we can move forward. I'm going to leave that, the, the kitchen area, the uh, where the faucets are going to be, the drains and everything, for later. Um, we'll see how that turns out. So, yeah. There it is, man. All right, guys. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions or any, any suggestions, remember, we don't know what we're doing. We're just trying our best, right? Big shout out to uh, some of the YouTube channels that I've been watching, uh, different. And I forget the other channel, but some something Homestead, they got a single wide. I've been getting a lot of ideas from them. Um, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment if you have any questions or suggestions. Uh, I'll reply as soon as I can. Once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys later. You ready? Let's go, man. See ya.